chemistry is the study of matter, its properties, how and why substances combine or separate to form other substances and how substances interact with energy. Chemistry is known as the central branch of science because it touches all the other natural sciences like the biology, physics, geology and many more. Chemistry is a physical science and it is the study of the properties of interactions between matter and energy. The state of matter in which materials are not fluid but retain their boundaries without support. The atoms or molecules occupying fixed positions with respect to each other and unable to move freely is a solid state. Solid state chemistry also sometimes referred to as materials chemistry. It is the study of the synthesis, structure and properties of solid phase materials particularly but not necessarily exclusively of non-molecular solids. Solid state inorganic chemistry has been strongly driven by technology. Progress in the field has often been fueled by the demands of industry well ahead of purely academic curiosity. The invention of X-ray crystallography in the early 1900 by William Lawrence Bragg enabled further innovations. This area of crystallography is continually expanding and evolving and the introduction of new methods that use latest technology is allowing the education of ever larger and more complex biological system. In chemistry, a solution is a homogeneous mixture composed of two or more substances. In such a mixture, a solute is a substance dissolved in another substance known as the solvent. In day-to-day -day life, we rarely come across pure substances. So, it is important to know the composition of these mixtures. For example, one particular concentration can be in permissible limit while higher concentration may be poisonous. What all properties are affected by addition of solute and up to which extent P block elements are unified by the fact that their valence electrons that is the outermost electrons are in the P orbital. Their valence shell electronic configuration is NS2, NP1 to 6 except helium which has 1S2 configuration. The properties of P block elements like that of others are greatly influenced by atomic sizes, ionization enthalpy, electron gain enthalpy and electronegativity. The absence of d orbitals in second period and the presence of d or d and f orbitals in heavier elements starting from third period onwards have significant effects on the properties of elements. In addition, the presence of all the three types of elements, metals, metalloids and non-metals bring diversification in chemistry of these elements. So, intended for your systematic and fun learning, my dear learners, a very warm welcome to all of you in this course. The course will deal with solid state, solutions and P block elements from class 12th chemistry. Me, Dr. Alka Mehrotra, Professor, Department of Education in Science and Mathematics, NCERT and Dr. Anjani Kaul, Associate Professor, Department of Education in Science and Mathematics, NCERT, will be interacting with you during the course. Each module of the course will be having five sections or quadrants, which are e-text, that is to provide standard text material to supplement studies, e-tutorial, which will comprise of video to facilitate better understanding of the text, learn more which will have useful web links, references, bibliography, suggested further readings, etc. to provide further help, self-assessment questions to enable monitoring the progress of the learners and a transcription of the video which will be in sync with it for ruling out any confusion occur occurring during the video. 
Hope you will enjoy the learning process through this course. Wish you all the best and thank you.